What does it mean to stay put? What does it mean to face the temptation to flee because you're annoyed with the person next to you or because you have ambitions that uh, take you to a bigger and better place? What does it mean to stay and to find out how God can be faithful to us in one place? How we can put down roots that allow us to grow and to bear fruit that's uh, for the life of the world. So many people aren't sure where they are. We invest a lot of our best energies of our lives in places where we only spend a little bit of time and then we move on. I think a lot of us feel this, this longing for community and longing for connection and longing for belonging and aren't sure where to find it. The Wisdom of Stability in a lot of ways is a book about how to learn from people who've committed to stay put and who committed to, to learn you know, how God provides for us in that, in that way. One of the things I've done in The Wisdom of Stability and listening to the voices of, of others, uh, I've also sat here on this porch and written some short meditations on what I've learned about stability in this place and, and the struggles that I've faced and uh, how I'm working through them here on this porch with these neighbors and with this community here in this place. One of the desert mothers said, stability is like the bird that uh, rests on the eggs in the nest so that um, by staying, she allows the chicks to, to get born and come to life. And I, I think there are so many things that are getting born in the world and that we need to get born. And yet, they'll only get born if some of us are willing to stay put. So the wisdom of stability is really about the conviction that God can make abundant life possible anywhere uh, if we'll commit to stay, if we'll commit to love one another, if we'll commit to trust God in the place where we are.